part of the uh, the experiences here. The experience is again a little praise and worship, breaking bread together, having a meal together, fellowship with your brothers in Christ, having some witness and testimony that could help you in your life in some form or fashion. And then we move on to a very important aspect, which is having Jesus in the room. It's actually a time of, really, of internal absorption of what you're experiencing, what you're hearing, and what, how God may be calling you. So, we've got a few things that we're going to have happen here. We have, uh, we're going to have uh, Deacon Pat Lavery lead us in adoration, which he'll process here in a minute, down in the center here, and, and we'll place Jesus right here. We will have, uh, you know, everybody here needs to go probably, if you're like me, you need to go to reconciliation, right? Now, we have... 150 men here, and with the with the weather and things that change, uh, with things that are going on, well, we put it all on the on the heavy shoulders of Monsignor Dusman in the back there. He's at the door, and uh, so Monsignor here, he had, he traveled here to do reconciliation. And I would say this: if you have, if you need to go to reconciliation today right now, this morning, then you need to go to reconciliation. If, you, if you've been, if you went last week or last month, then you know, go to reconciliation this afternoon at your parish. But Monsignor, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna close these actually center doors in a minute, and we're gonna open up that one over here, and Monsignor is gonna be on the right over there. You saw some chairs with some uh, Dividers, and so feel free to uh, to go out there and visit with Monsignor uh, during the next hour. Now, the other thing we're going to have, the last thing, and this is I recommend for everybody in this room, because as brothers, we need to pray. We need to pray for each other. And Brian Gray in the back over there, sit, wave your hand, Brian. He's in charge of. Uh, of our prayer ministry here. And if you, uh, let's just say, let me just read what he kind of said, but uh, it, it's an opportunity to have others pray with you wherever you are at in life to draw closer to God, as well as receive blessing, direction, and healing. As an example, your prayer request could be for physical healing, such as addressing back pain, broken arm, disease, or cancer. They'll be happy, these teams of men will be happy to pray for emotional or spiritual struggles that may be undergoing such as anxiety, depression, habitual patterns of sin. These guys are here to um, pray with you for discernment or decisions you may be finding uh, uh, anything in your life. So whatever you need, Know that Jesus faithfully manifests himself in a special way among those two or more who are gathered in his name. So, if you have something in your heart, something that's going on physically or mentally, we're going to have a line that over here, Brian's going to lead it, but just go over there and he's going to point you to one of these prayer teams right here. And if you've never been involved in a prayer team, you need to. You need to. And you'll find it very enriching and fulfilling. So we have adoration, reconciliation for those who need to go now, today. They need to go. And we have prayer teams for everybody. And then at the end of that, we'll, we'll finish up and we'll have, a, we'll have a, some closing announcements, things of that nature, final prayer, final song. And of course, I want you to visit the vendors out there.